Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. This is your boy Nor in the future. I would just like to thank y'all so much for 30k subscribers. That's a huge milestone. Thank y'all so much for supporting the channel. 30,000 people clicked the subscribe button on this channel. That is absolutely insane. Just shout out to you guys. I would like to give a huge special shout out to Ufi, the sponsor of today's video. So I don't know if you guys know who they are, but I didn't know much about cams either, about home cameras, security cameras. I didn't really care much for them, but they told me, you know what, we've seen that you talked about how people steal stuff from your garage, so you always lock your garage, you're always this, this, and that. So we want to send you out something to feel safe, you don't have to worry about it. you have to constantly bring your tools in, put your cars in the garage, you close the garage when you go inside. I was like, all right, yo, that sounds great. That sounds like, you know, helpful. So they said this out more than two cameras, but I'm only gonna be showing two camera angles in this video. But yeah, we put up one in the garage, one on the front door. They're motion detective, so whenever someone actually walks by them, it will notify me saying someone's in your front door, someone's next to your garage. It'll record that in sequence of footage and it will even let me know like do you want to talk to them you can automatically talk to them you can hear what they're saying it records audio video it's insane so yeah huge shout out to them if you guys want to enter the giveaway the giveaway the last day of their giveaway is today they're giving away two free sets of cameras it's insane so if you guys want that make sure you check out the first link down below without further ado let's get back to the video we good I watch your videos like every single day. <laughs> That's what's up, bro. What's going on, dude? Nothing much. Man. That's what's up. How'd you guys even notice me? I'm driving my sister's Corolla. <laughs> yeah, I see you in the car and I was like, dang, that's What the heck? <laughs> that's what's up. All right, guys, we are heading out. It's crazy. Ran into some subscribers just now. I don't know how they knew. They knew it was me and uh, I was in my sister's car. That's crazy. But yeah, we'll catch you guys back at BMW. Um, Hopefully everything goes according to plan and we get this car because that would be best. Man, oh my God, I love BMW. It's just like being here feels like you're at Gucci or something. We got all these beautiful cars. They're like two M4s back there. It's like, damn boy, damn. Alright guys, so we just got done with BMW, we have to go down to a gas station, fill up, and after we fill up, we're gonna head straight down to Stockton, and uh, hopefully pick up a new car. Hopefully not die. Huh? Hopefully not die. I mean, the dude that we're talking to is super chill, but the area is not the greatest according to the ratings, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, guys, we're pulling up at his house. I don't want to do any recording, like I said. I like to give people their privacy. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go out, check it out. He says the car doesn't start anymore as we're coming here. So, you guys always know that's a great sign. Yeah, so we're going to find him, uh, check out the car, and then when we pick it up, we'll show you guys, hopefully. All right, guys, it just happened. Turn up, turn up the sound. She's a girl. <laughs> what? All right, guys, I'm down. All right, so here we are. First gas fill up is honestly so insane. Honestly, I don't know if he, when we bought this thing, he said the AC doesn't work. Jonathan, the AC works perfectly. There's no issue with the AC. Maybe it's slightly overcharged. So we have to just depressurize it a little bit. Uh, Jonathan did it the other day to his car, so we know how to do that. Uh, but damn, boy, it was so smooth. It drives so straight. No issues. Clean title, bro. Manual. Like, what else do you want? It's a coupe. I need a GoPro now so you guys can see my perspective and shit. It's <laughs> probably in the paint or something. A wrap, maybe. Oh, is this all rock chips? Yeah. Oh, that was bugs. No, it's bugs, bro. It's rock chips. Oh, it is rock chips. I mean, guys, for the price we got it, I ain't complaining. And my dad, I don't think he'll mind with this car. It's not too bad. We're going to clean her up when we get home, make her look good. In the meantime, we got to fill her up because uh, I think that's only what's right. And uh, we don't need V-Power, do we? Please, we don't need V-Power, Johnny. Do we need V-Power? No, we need 91, <laughs> brother. <laughs> oh, shit. Guys, this is my second clean title car, if you think about that. That's kind of crazy. I've had so many cars. But this is my second clean title. Damn, boy.
Yeah, 20 bucks almost got me a half tank. On my M3, this would have been like 100% quarter or less. That's crazy. All right, guys, I think it's time to go to Pick a Bowl. Pick a Bowl. Let's go get some. We just have a few parts. We'll look at the car over there. We can find a manual a boot. boot. Oh and then a God. steering wheel. Uh, steering wheel. Steering wheel airbag. If we can find an M1. If we can find an M, yeah. Yeah. Perfect. And then uh, that speaker and the back is, is messed up. It's, messed it's like, up. It's, it's like so bad. Okay. So rear speaker tweezer. Um, dude, Good thing it asked for the stuff, dude. It works. You hear yeah, it? what the heck? Yeah, he, okay, so I didn't think he was going to give us the stuff for free because he took it out. And then Jonathan was like, does the stuff come with the car? And he was like, oh, yeah. And he throws it in the trunk. <laughs> I'm like, Jonathan, damn, you bro. Ask and you shall receive. <laughs> <laughs> Put that over to pick a pull, bro. It's going to be dope. So, let's go. Well, guys, this is a five-speed. What the? If I can get a better shift now, it'll be better, too. And I'm going to try to get aluminum trim. Let's try to get as much things as we can. Let's go. Brand new clutch, guys. I don't know if he told you, but brand new clutch. This thing feels brain spanking new. All right, guys, clean title. I honestly cannot believe it. Let's just go. I'm so hyped. We're fixing a car the same day we get it. <laughs> We're literally driving it the same day we get it. I never get a clean title, so I'm never able to drive it the same day. That's crazy. You can see the blinkers work properly. Damn, boy. Just want to get this thing cleaned up. That's got to go. That's disgusting. Guys, this thing drives straighter than my M3. Oh, my Lord. The steering wheel straight. The alignment's perfect. On my F3, I still didn't get the alignment fixed up because I messed with my uh, tie rods and shit after I got the alignment done, so rip. Finally here, we're pulling up. We have six E46s here, and one of them is an 06. So I'm going to get some updated, you know, steering wheels, some updated parts. Hopefully nobody took that stuff. Normally that stuff doesn't get taken, so we might be able to get some good stuff. It's just crazy how we're pulling up in a car we just bought to buy parts for it. That's crazy. All right, guys, so I don't know if you guys see. We need a new boot. Honestly, this interior is really good shape. I'll honestly consider keeping the gray, but going sport. Sport? Unless I find like red interior or like brown interior, something crazy. But the interior is actually in really good shape. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm not a big fan of gray. These tints have to come off. They're like red tint. Look at it from inside the car, bro. It's disgusting. Oh, yeah. The tint's got to go. These seats got to go. I, I need sport. Steering wheel got to go. Steering wheel's got to go. That shift knob got to go. Um, the trim, we're getting aluminum. I want that. And then the rear door speaker, this thing's messed up. Other than that, um, we're looking also for a full body kit. So we're looking for rims. Um, we're looking maybe. for a front bumper, maybe a front hood, rear bumper. Yeah, I got the keys. Um, side skirts, pretty much all kinds of things. If we could get it all done in this video, that would be insane. But we'll kind of try to do as much as we can for you guys. We need more videos. <laughs> huh? We need more videos, but I'm trying to give you guys as much co like content. That's the thing. Like you guys know, my for, my number one priority is the M3. So this car, you do it the best we can with this, um, and I then you own. know we'll move on. Oh, sounds really good. Ready? Crazy, oh the pops, dude. Damn, boy, damn. <laughs> pops, though. All right, no more revving. We gotta get the mixture to the oil change today. All right, guys, I'm gonna take a little bit of a break here. Catch you on in a few hours. All right, guys, it sounds like the AC is trying to work and it's just not working though. AC blower is on. I think the blower went bad. Uh, that's whatever. I uh, went out bad kind of in the beginning of the trip. I went into Erlon's, so he got to see me as he was leaving BMW. I'm here to get some oil, so I'm about to get some oil. I'm about to see if they can also test the battery because uh, he had to jump it and he put a new battery yesterday and he had to jump it today. He said it's a new battery. We'll see. Uh, he's a good guy, so I take his word for it, but I just want to make sure. So whether if I need to buy a new battery or not, we'll know. Jonathan was behind me, he said something flew off my car. <laughs> Dude, I literally, I thought, what it was, the? I thought it was the mirror because I was driving and like, all of a sudden something's like flying off. I didn't even hear it like hit against the car before it flew it off. It just flew off. off. I was like, what was that? And I, it just was like bouncing. I was like, <laughs> okay. That's I'm, some bullshit. And then I got in front of you and I didn't see anything. Those things are cheap anyways, right? I'm not worried about it. I think I have some at home. <laughs> Actually, the wheels don't look, oh really? The like yellow ones or white ones? Um, I don't know. They might be yellow. I don't like the yellow ones. I don't think they are, but. Guys, check that out. It's perfectly good. <laughs> What's wrong with this car? You got some oil cleaner. What else we got on there? You want the, uh, High mileage. Uh, it's been sitting for a year. We got some oil cleaner as well. Better safe than sorry. You said you're over ready.
All right, guys, the baby is home, home sweet home. Look at that, two M, well not two empties actually. I wish I was an empty, oh my lord, but it's not. Great deal though. You have to see it's all some wheels. Um, it's not a sports interior, but yeah, so I see you got my BK shit going on there. Uh, we're gonna detail the whole interior. It's a manual. It has a ripped shift knob and all that shit. Ripped steering wheel, ripped seats. But hey, no check engine light. Runs beautifully, no issues, no sounds, no nothing. Comes with some subs in the rear. Um, brand new battery, brand new clutch. Guys, brand new battery, brand new clutch alone is how much I basically paid for this car. Clean title, manual, it's a coupe, not a convertible. Um, you know, I'm super stoked on this. Probably, and it's a 328 CI, not a 323 or a 325. It's a 328, so I'm super stoked on that. But yeah, the car has been safe for about a year, so we're about to swap out the oil um, today. And we're gonna be doing the corn hopefully down the road, not now. Boy, he's in a pretty slight bud here. And I'm not trying to dump all my money into this car as I'm still ordering some parts to get my M3 back on the road. But yeah, well Jonathan's gonna help me detail, and Jonathan's also gonna help me do the oil change. So let's go ahead and get to it. So, what seems to be the problem? So we got some oil leaking from the drain screw, some from the oil pan, some from the valve cover. Oh, it's not too bad though, like it's all minor. It's all minor. All minor, so. Um, and I, I feel like once we replace the washer on the drain screw, that should solve another issue. Because this car's been sitting for a long time, so it could the, the washers and probably everything just got bad, you know? Um, so, yeah, let's just go ahead. Look at this mess we got over here. Up the Finally, microfiber towels. I'm gonna wipe it down, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put a new washer on it. Actually, the washer on it looks super weird. Look at this. Oh, that's a double washer. That's probably why. Also, like you, you put that's too much space, right? Yeah, only one is needed. Yeah, what the heck? Yeah, why? He must have done it himself and just didn't. Dude, look at how janky this thing is. No, that's like one by itself. I don't even like those. I like the middle ones. <laughs> Oil change, you feel good, you know? Yeah. Why don't you go boom, boom, boom? Dude, I don't think so. <laughs> I'll be like, oh shit. The sound is so much better. Damn, that sound is so healthy. Can we reset the oil light? You know? Is there, is there ever... I don't think there is one. Nah, it's good, bro. There's oil light on yeah, the cool. Oh. Yeah, here. Yeah, are we leaking oil? No? Good? Yeah, we're good. <laughs> so... Damn, boy! It's really good for a daily. Oh, did I hear this? Yeah! Oh my gosh, look at this. Uh, you know what? I think I like it. Ooh. Look at that needs to be cleaned. Alright guys, so you guys saw we picked up an E46. Gonna be a crazy build, hopefully. We're gonna make this thing as nice as possible. We're gonna try to restore it, bring it back to life. I like going after these cars that have been sitting for a long time or destroyed or whatever and uh, pretty much saving these bad boys. So yeah, this is, hasn't been driven for a whole year. We changed the oil, we got the car today, everything's great. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go register it hopefully tomorrow or the next couple days. Um, in the next video, because it's gonna take a lot of time, we're gonna go ahead and detail the engine bay for you guys, the interior, the exterior, all that good stuff. And then hopefully we're gonna start doing some body work, getting some panels, uh, body kit, interior pieces, make it look great. So if you guys are looking forward to all of that, make sure to smash that like button. We're still waiting on a couple things on the M3. Um, I found a fan for a 335D. Uh, so it looks the same, so it might work. So we're, we're getting the fan in, we ordered a new radiator, it's coming from FCP Euro, it has the whole warranty thing, which is great. So waiting the stuff to come in on that, but in the meantime, we'll work on this, we'll bring you guys some content on this, and we'll bring some content on my friend's car, and my friend's also getting a BMW, so a lot of good stuff happened. 
without further ado, love y'all so much. Remember to stay out more. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.